Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file. I can't really figure it out. It, I don't know if it's a mirror with light shining through it or whatever, but they want that design. I don't know how big it is, but he's going to have to redraw it anyway. I made a perfect ellipse. As you can see, I'm still on ha, using somebody else's file. Let's make our lips 12 by 12. You know, if I would have had my ratio lock, I could have it 12 by 12. I'm gonna hit P and put it in the center of the page. I'm gonna bring down an indexing line and put P. I'm gonna bring out another one and put P. But then I'm gonna take this center one and I'm just to give me a judge, I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate and I'm gonna change my nudge factor to 0.25. And I'm gonna nudge that one over. I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate of that one and nudge it over. Now, the design, uh, I could have done a little more looking and research and uh, figure this out a little bit more, but you can play around with that. I'm just trying to give them the idea. And the reason I put the indexing lines is to make it somewhat symmetrical. I like drawing in the center of the page and I like using index lines and I love the three point curve. So there's an intersection right there. I'm gonna draw from that intersection to that intersection. And then I'm gonna go up to that edge and I'm, in, I'm making a, I need to move my screen up a little bit. I need to move, see if I can't grab it again. See, I'm right on that edge, but I'm moving the whole thing. Let me just start over where I can see, see the whole thing. Three point curve to that intersection that intersection, then move to that at quadrant and make your drawing. Now we just need to figure out how thick we want that line. So, and I do not use CMYK, but the last person I was helping did. So let's make it a little bit thicker line. And then we just need to rotate it. And the reason for my center indexing lines is so I can get it more easily to the center. Sometimes it doesn't look like it is but it is not. So let's just do that again, sometimes back off, and then make sure it's in the center because that's really important. Now what's happening there, if you don't click on that X, you get the shape tool sometime. So now we need to control D and make a duplicate of that guy. And if you notice, I have my nudge factor set on zero, zero, and this is exactly the reason why. Now we're gonna just rotate this guy till we kind of See what we get. And let's just, we're close. So let's rotate it 1.5 degrees. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's go to Windows Dockers Transform Rotation. And because I've got it in the center of the page, my rotation is gonna go to the center. I'm gonna put in the 1.5 degrees. I need 240, I mean 360 divided by 1.5 is 240. I've already got one, so I need only 239 and hit apply. That's pretty much that same pattern. Now I've got a, and they had a circle in the center the only difference between my pattern and that pattern there is he has a bigger space between the bottom legs. But all you have to do is back up and move those bottom legs out a little bit more or move your rotation a little bit more. And because we've removed our indexing lines, we can put them right back. It should go right to that node. And we could change, let's, uh, let's just change it just a little bit. Let's change our nudge factor to 0 0.02 and just nudge that a little bit further over. All I'm doing is hitting the right and the left arrow keys. That might not be far enough, but it might be. And we'll have it snap to that node and snap to that node. And now let's do the same thing. See, now my legs are, and I'm actually, down on one of them. So let's back up here, bring that node up to that line, hit apply. 
Now I've got that cross section. Now we do have a line in the middle that you can make that same, uh, I think we made it 1.5 points. Delete or, or, or turn off your um, guidelines. There I think we have the exact same pattern. And you can make it taller. Uh, this, is, this one's quite a bit substantially taller than mine. But I hope that kind of gave him that. He'll know how big the, the wheel is. And uh, hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.